Hello and welcome to the M0 OGY review of the new President Lincoln 2 Plus dual band transceiver. The original Lincoln 2 has been out around three years now I guess and uh, this is the updated version which uh, the main difference is it's got uh, the 12 meter amateur band added to the 10 meter amateur band as it comes from the factory. It can be uh, expanded to be uh, used on 11 meters. I'll add a disclaimer here it's not legal to do so to use this radio on there. Power output for this radio is uh, 12 watts AM and uh, CW and 35 watts on FM and single sideband. Also on the modes has a PA facility. There's a radio, looks very familiar, just the same really to look at in the flesh as the original Lincoln 2. Then it's got the added plus on the uh, front fascia. This uh, radio is uh, set on band J. Band J uh, has the additional 12 metre band on it from the factory. The build quality to me looks slightly better than uh, the, the last two I had. I did have an original version one. Uh, well, still do have it, and also uh, got the last uh, revision, revision three. Well, comes in the uh, president white, black, and green box. Comes with a power lead, a uh, mounting bracket, which is uh, coated black, along with. Uh, fixtures and fittings and a mic clip. There is a multilingual manual. And a president sticker as all their radios seem to get. So I'll have a, a look round at the radio and see what the features are on the next part of the video. Right, we're back. Uh, going from left to right, we've got a scan facility, the Roger bleep, and the uh, button to press the key beeps off, which is rather annoying. Noise blanker, ANL, emergency, that's changed. It, it was to 9 and 19, I remember before. It's got a lock, echo, call. You've got splits. All these uh, buttons are dual function. You've got the band button plus 10 uh, kilohertz. The Vox set. The mode and also the CT, CSS, DCS button. Moving across, you've got the uh, volume. The RF power. The squelch up and down channel keys which is there below in red you've got the menu memories dual pot for your mic gain and RF gain clarifier on your right then the uh, channel change the channel change oh, you can use the up and down keys the display uh, quite uh, bright orange you can uh, alter it in the uh, menu which I'll do now if you can see try not to get in front of it yeah that's an orange and you just turn, turn the channel key and it's gone a rather luminous green it looks uh, a lot brighter on the camera than it actually is so you've got your menus change the colours and then go through the menus your various uh, features on that brightness that's maybe handy to that's better 
goes down to one it looks a bit more realistic on camera now doesn't it but uh, that's your brightness down channels many features dead easy just press the uh, reset all your bleeps you can alter your bleeps Time out, what have we got on here? Back to your colour, which again it's green or orange. Which I prefer it on really, I guess it looks more like a link than if it's left on orange. So that's it. It comes with a standard president mic that they've been supplying for a good lot of years. Pretty lightweight now, special with up and down channel there. Uh, change on it so there's the Lincoln 2 Plus the next bit of the video we'll have having a look on the uh, rear panel taking a look at the rear panel you've got a, a large aluminium heat sink which is quite wide roughly 80 millimeters I would think by 25 20 20 25 millimeters deep moving across the SO239 UHF antenna socket there's a Vox socket CW key in the center this is new you can actually uh, program this now via a mini USB and uh, program the radio off your computer external speaker socket and PA socket both 3.5 millimeters uh, and there's your input power socket for 13.8 volts DC and then finally there's your serial number on the side of the heatsink this one's uh, 00097 so it's quite an early one so that's a brief look on the back panel the next part of the video we'll all have a, a look inside and see if there's any major changes to the uh, PCB Taking a look inside the uh, Lincoln 2 uh, Plus and that's the number of the printed circuit board doesn't look vastly different inside I must say I think it's slightly better made inside looks tidier than the, the earlier ones but uh, there isn't a vast difference I must say Lots of shielding, as many of these uh, radios that are made in China seem to have these days. The lead, obviously that's uh, your, your socket is behind there for your mini USB so you don't have to unplug it on the board like uh, some of the radios in the past you can actually plug it straight in the back so you don't lose your warranty one thing I have seen unlike the previous Lincolns and radios made by President such as the Jackson 2 ASC and the Grant 2 the Grant 2 Premium they all have a white jumper wire that uh, you cut to expand them Looking around this, there isn't one. I believe it's a, a resistor that you alter. I guess you cut it, but I'm looking there. Uh, I will find that, I'm sure. But just looking around the board. Coils. Outputs. Go into the heat sink. D 
decent enough looking little speaker. Not about you guys, but I never use the internal speaker. I always run an extension speaker these days. Don't bother me if they didn't put speakers in them to be fair. Um but yeah, looks uh, pretty good. No big blobs of solder rattling about, right? that's a fact. Aluminium chassis looks quite well. Got uh, nut certs put in the side for the brackets and uh, case screws. It's not just a cheap hole with a self tapper. You know, I've got proper nut certs in the chassis sides. Internal of the Lincoln 2 Plus. I will uh, have an hunt round and find out what you have to do to uh, open it up because on some of the further tests I will be receiving on the 11 meter band. See how it compares to other radios on there. So I'll be back in a moment. This is the top of the circuit board. You can see surface mount technology, not a lot really to see but just thought I'd show you what it's like on top. Final thoughts on the end of the part one video. Radio seems uh, fairly well made. I think it's slightly better in the earlier versions. Um, it uh, it will be reviewed on and tested on both 10 and 12 meter amateur radio bands in the coming days. I'll compare it against the original Lincoln 2 version 3. Probably my ASO FT840. Hope there's some propagation. Uh, down point for those who wish to wideband it. It looks uh, harder to wideband. The white white wire's gone. Um, not really looked into it. I'm sure it'll become apparent shortly to uh, how to do that if you so wish. There is some software now on the President Electronics website so you can program it from the USB port I've downloaded it onto my computer now so uh, again in the coming days I'll have a, a look into that and how to use it so I hope you've enjoyed the video feel free to comment below and uh, have a good weekend best 73 from Dave M0OGY in North Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom bye bye